They gave me $40 this time. For Universal Studios Hollywood. I am speechless. We're back at Universal Studios Orlando. We're also gonna be going to Universal Studios Hollywood in this video. We're gonna be covering the Minions Cafe, showing off some of those rides. I wanna show you guys some of these updates that are happening here in Universal Orlando. Now, they've added in a new sign. It used to look like this, and now it looks like this. Kind of like a darker navy blue. So I wanna talk about Disney's current new sign, and for Toontown, they made this monstrosity of a new sign. This is what the original sign looks like, and this is what the new sign looks like. It's too busy, and it, <laughs> it's kinda hideous. All right, let's pop into the City Walk Universal Studios store, see if there's anything new. Spider-Man has taken over the front of the gift shop. So we have a Marvel Spider-Man hoodie on the inside. Birth of a superhero. You're looking at $60 for this new Spider-Man hoodie. Then for $15, they have a Spider-Man mug. And for $25, they have a Spider-Man picture frame. Then for $35, they have some shorts. And with that same design, it's on the inside of the hood on the hoodie. For only $29, Spider-Man can keep your uh, coffee warm in the morning. For $30, they have this Spider-Man like satchel. Kind of got that same design that's on all the other stuff. And then for $27, they have this new Spider-Man cap. For $40, they have this Spider-Man backpack. One thing I really think is cool is on the back. You got the logo right there. Then for $35, they had this Spider-Man t-shirt. Now for $85, they did get a Miles Morales lounge fly backpack. Now for $28, they had this t-shirt. This looks like the classic like cartoon Spider-Man from back when I was a kid. Now they got a bunch of new merch for minions. It's the year of the rabbit. They have a little minion for $20. A little rabbit ears on. It can also be for Easter. For $20, they had this Lunar New Year. Again, the year of the rabbit. Universal Studios new shirt. And for $33, they have this tank top with that same design. Then for $25 they had this red shirt again for Lunar New Year so it's kind of each one of the minions. Every year is like a different animal. So here's all the minions dressed up as the different animals. And for $13 they have a little journal with that same design. $35 they have this new glitter t-shirt. Now for $65 they have this new bag and it's all of Bob. He's just you know hanging out living his best little life. Looks they had little King Bob on there though. And for $23 they had this little kids t-shirt with that same design that was on the backpack. And for $29.95 they have Bob. He's got his little teddy bear. And for $28, they kind of have this like, baseball cut tee. Oh yeah, they're shooting a little promo or something for NBC Sports over there. in Universal Studios now. Now at the main Universal Studios store here, they redid all the storefronts. I'm kind of digging the vibe of it. It feels uh, very like early 2000s, but also modern, if that makes sense. So they have like the hoverboard lunchbox, but then they have the sports almanac in the window with some Back to the Future shirts. Now if you head over here, right, this is like red and yellow. So this is all for Dr. Seuss, thing one and thing two, all the merchandise. You know at Disney, they have like the walls of Mickey plushes here. They just have the walls of Minions plushes. Now Valentine's Day is coming up. If you want to spice it up, they have Minions boxers for $24.95. Bunch of new changes to Villains Con. They put a new sign out, a little banner on like the concrete pillar. We'll probably get a bigger sign over the center, but off to the side it says, Welcome to Villain Con, Universal Studios featuring the Vicious Six. Now I have many questions now because they have a poster with different villains from different time periods. This is gonna be coming probably, I'm gonna say, late May, early June. That's what I'm gonna be guessing. But so they're working on the Minions Cafe. We're gonna be showing you guys the Hollywood version in a second. But got a lot of construction still to do. I hear grinders. We can kind of see inside. It still looks kind of bare bone. They look like months and months away. Again, kind of that like late May, early June time frame. She's pretty strong because she's uh, she's taken on one, two, three, four, five, six minions because the, the rope kind of broke. Now let's go up to Hollywood. Kind of a mini vlog that we shot before going to HHN in Hollywood. Kind of hung out in the park for a couple hours and I wanted to review the Minions Cafe food. This is probably the menu that we will be getting here, so I want to review it for you guys. So I hope you enjoy a little time jump. And we don't have to go 88 miles an hour to do it. Enjoy Hollywood for a little bit. Uh, Neon King Kong, I have missed you, my man. The Universal Studios store, they got all these advertisements that we have not seen. Why is this not on a shirt? So it's got a bunch of different characters from the maze. Then you get the weekend right there. This is a great design. Getting pretty close to Getting in there, we got the spinning Universal Studios globe. The Universal Studios Hollywood, they got the weekend advertisement right out front. I love this sculpture, but it's all like barricaded off though. We're heading to the little guest relations area. 
But first, you wanna have a good spooky time, you gotta rub Alfred's nose. They've uh, they finished him since the last time I was here. It was normally all rubbed off. Now in the guest relations area, they always they always have some fun uh, props here. So they switch them out all the time. So they have the grabber's mask, and they also have the actual black phone. Then they have the grabber's top hat. <laughs> And over here, we have some stills and lobby cards from the Universal Monsters classics. And then this is Billy from Dead Silence. I'll be honest with you, never seen this movie before, but he is utterly terrifying. Oh, they have a little vampire Hello Kitty out right now. Now it is time for Secret Life of Pets off the leash. This ride is one of the best rides ever made. There's like 70 plus animatronics. Every time you go through, there's something new to see. All right, now it is adoption day. We're gonna pretend like we're little puppies. What's in there? Doggies. <laughs> Uh, right. She'd probably be upset. W what you say? Anyway, puppies. Snowball lives just down the hall that way. That's right. Just keep walking. Now pay attention, you rookies. Today, I'm going to tell you about Martin Drumroll. The Tree Spot. So when you're walking into the queue, each window is like a screen as if you're looking to New York. Back in Snowball. Although there are way more of you than I anticipated, so I don't really know how much longer this lair is going to continue to be a secret. But before we, wait a minute, what is that noise? Hey, you in the back, no chewing the furniture. See, this is the kind of thing that won't get you adopted. People do not like to have their stuff chewed. Listen and learn, puppies. Look, we got to find you guys a family while you're still puppies. Put a little minion over there. Just listen to Captain Snowball. <laughs> We're little puppies, ready? Yeah! <laughs> Creeping around the corner. <laughs> Here's little Allison. <laughs> look at, look at Keith. favorite rides ever. It's just like a fun, wholesome family ride. We're going down to the lower lot. You do get a wonderful view of California. Like, this is so cool. look at that. Look at Nintendo World. I will be here for the grand opening for Nintendo World. Now the escalators are so long that they have a little break station in between. So if you need to hydrate or get something to eat, to continue down to the lower lot. All right, we are now going on Revenge of the Mummy the Ride. This one isn't as good, no Brendan, but it's still a fun time. than ours, right? But there's no Brendan. You do get tickled by bugs and everything, which is different. Kind of like tough to be a bug. Everybody always screams at that part, but. We're heading off to one of my favorite attractions here, Jurassic World.
What'd you think? How insane was that? You saw life size and Dominus Rex. I am speechless. That was insane. I didn't realize it was that big. And, like if I were in that world. What's wrong, King? I'm wet. You're wet and cold. I'm freezing. They have little Frank and Bob. Oh my God! Look how cute he is. Papa! Papa! Oh, look at him. He is so short. Look at little Bob going through the crowd. Now we just got here. I'm a little hungry. We've been eating all day. I want to go to Minions Cafe because this is probably what's going to be coming in Universal Orlando. So I want to kind of show you guys what it's going to look like. So it's really cool. Throughout the season, they'll switch it out with different holiday, you know, a little different holiday overlay. So it's like spooky inside. So it's all the Minions dressed up. Oh my gosh. A little devil chasing after a banana. There's a little Minion on a broom. And another one jumping out of a pumpkin. It's a pretty simple quick service. Almost like cafeteria style. The menu has a slight spooky overlay. There's it's like simple, just junk food. It's nothing groundbreaking, but you got cheese, you got pulled pork, you have a banana barbecue sauce. That's what makes it different. How's it yummy? All right, now this is my second time eating here. If this is coming, I'm excited. The um, grilled cheese pulled pork, pretty good. Seven out of 10, I like the sweetness from the banana barbecue sauce. The fries, very mediocre. Let's see how the mac and cheese is. I've never had this before, so I don't know if it's any good. It's got like breadcrumbs and like roasted pulled chicken, and we got bacon and there's ranch on it. Very sodium heavy. That bacon mac and cheese, something I've never had before here. Amazing. At first I was like, where's this going? Good amount of chicken. It's nice and tender. Get this nice smoky, crispy bacon bits in there. Then there's, ooh, the little ranch, the creaminess in there. It's big, thick noodles. I'm gonna say this, that's some of the best quick service mac and cheese I've ever had. 10 out of 10. It's a must. If you're at Universal Studios Hollywood, get the bacon mac and cheese. <laughs> it's like a full meal. I am stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey right now. I really hope that dish is coming. Universal Orlando. I gotta say it, Minions Cafe, pretty lit. Well, this is where we're ending this video. Welcome back to Humidity, we're back in Orlando. I love Universal Hollywood so much. It's so different than Orlando's, uh, but I will be there for the Nintendo World opening. Excited to show you guys all that stuff. We'll be at Universal Studios, probably a couple days covering all that stuff. We're back here. Let's talk about the current state of KidZone. Last time we were here, right, it was open. We covered kind of the final day. DreamWorks is pretty much coming. Uh, first off, they have body bagged the KidZone sign. Uh, everybody on the internet was comparing it to a dinosaur. It does kind of look like a wrapped up dinosaur. Uh, we got Princess Poppy from Trolls. And over here we have a, a branch. Then we have Poe from Kung Fu Panda. And as we know, Shrek will be coming back to this land. So the, the Ogre Boy era is just beginning. So they have Shrek and Donkey. We got another Princess Poppy. And then I have no idea who these characters are. Is this like little kid DreamWorks? This, what's going on over here? There's some little kitty uh, mermaid. And then this girl. Maybe one of the characters from the Captain Underpants film. Little Perito right here. Little tummy rub right there. Again, if you have not seen Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, missing out. You need to go. See it. I never thought I would see Megamind in a theme park, but I guess they're gonna give Megamind some love. Megamind's a great film. And then this is like the computer animated spirit film that came out a couple years ago. I never saw it. I saw the original one, which is great. Oh, it looks like there has been a minion over here recently. And then we have some characters from the Croods. Then we have all the Madagascar penguins. There's another one of Poe doing a little kung fu kick. Then they have a little tiny diamond right here. Then over here, this is like that DreamWorks Yeti film. I still need to watch that, I guess. Then we have Captain Underpants, the snake from uh, Bad Guys. Then we have two of the other characters from uh, the bad guys. And we got the man, the myth, the legend, the boss baby. They had a boss baby meet and greet and I missed out on it. I want them to bring that back. I think this movie like bombed at the box office. Another Poe. So I feel like there's gonna be a big presence of Kung Fu Panda then in this land. Then we have Shrek and Fiona. There's another character from the crew. E.T. is still open. Kind of a cluster. It's a very tight knit area now with these construction walls. So the kids own bathroom is also still open. SpongeBob is still open. The kids own pizza company is not blocked off yet. Um, this will probably stay open for Mardi Gras and probably for HHS. The last things that will probably be completed will be that bathroom and then the Kids Zone Pizza Company. The opening is expected to be 2024. 2022, we had the great movie Escape open. 2023, we're going to have the Minions Villain Con open. 2024 will be DreamWorks. 2025, then be Epic Universe. So that's kind of the next uh, couple years here at Universal. And you still get a little photo op with Woody right here. Now they're starting to set up all the food booths for Mardi Gras. They're setting up the bar over here in the extended Transformers queue. As you can see, a sign says Mardi Gras 23. We have some green and yellow lights hanging from the ceiling. Now, sadly, I'm going to be missing the first day of Mardi Gras. Here's another shot of one of the food booths that they're building. I feel like they're going to have like beignets or something at this one for the king's cake. Oh, the tour groups are back. There's a little crack you can see inside the construction. Uh, but this is where those little drink stands were on both sides. This one is completely removed. They're going to be rebuilding little uh, drink stands. We have two more little food booths out here in San Francisco. These will eventually get decorated. Oh my god, all the tour groups that are here. It's tour group season again. They're just little menaces to all theme park employees and theme parks. 
the stories that I have about tour groups. I'm sorry for all you cast members and team members having to deal with the tour groups right now because they're they're terrible. Normally there's only one over here. Now there's two. So there's gonna be one there and then one over there. Now right now this is just kind of the base facade. They're just gonna add more details. One of my biggest complaints from last year's Mardi Gras, all the food booths, you didn't know what they were. There weren't like names on the menus. So it's like you'd see these menus online and I would talk about them. Then you couldn't figure out the name of the food booth. So please Universal, please put the names of the food booths on the menu so people can know where they're going. Now this has become stroller parking, but over here, remember you had to kind of like hit the hammer and it would go up and they removed that game. That's just kind of like a little seating area. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bug. <laughs> now, do you like me? This is for all four of you. Do you or any member of your household that lives in your work for any of the following? A local TV station, a TV network, a streaming service, a market research firm, or Universal Online Resort? No. No, no, no. Do you or any member of your household that lives in your work for any of the following? I, that's probably my <laughs> <laughs> They're setting up like a giant stage for some performances here. All right, now we just did a NBC Media Center. If you ever see those, you gotta do them. They gave me $40 this time for like a little bit over an hour of my time. Now we finished our little updates to Universal Studios. Now we gotta go to Islands Gift Shop real quick. Uh, here's a better shot of that cute little Kong. He's gonna be $17. Now they have a whole plush line of Universal characters, all kind of the same style. We got the Incredible Hulk. We got Frank from Men in Black, the pug. All right, we're gonna go to a restaurant I have not been to in probably two or three years. We're gonna try like their specialty burger. I got it when it first came out. It was fine. It's one of the most expensive burgers at any theme park. It's almost $18. We're here at the Burger Digs here in Jurassic Park. All right, so this is what we got. We got the Casado Burger Platter, Costa Rican inspired Black Angus Patty, Sweet Plantains, Avocado, Pork Belly, Garlic Mayonnaise on a Raptor Scorched Brioche Bun with French fries. This thing is big, right? What? First time I had it, I wasn't very impressed. This was a great improvement over the last time I had it. Plantains were nice and sugary and sweet, almost like caramelized. And you get this big, thick hamburger patty, right, with some wonderful seasoning on it. Then you get some avocado to kind of add that little bit of creaminess. Then you get this very, like, fatty, tender pork belly. It doesn't look like it on the video, but it, the pork belly was very good. And all together, it was a nice switch up from the standard theme park burgers, right? If you want a good quick service burger, try Burger Digs again. I really enjoyed the Casado burger. We're doing eight out of 10. Good improvement over the last time. Time for dessert. It's at a bunch of the different quick service locations around Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, but it's like the Brookie. So it's a brownie with a cookie inside. Universal really isn't known for their desserts, so a lot softer than I expected. Just finished the brownie. Looking at it, I thought it was gonna be some dried out, crusty, cheap brownie. Very good. It was almost like brownie batter meets a little bit of cookie dough flavor. It, everything was cooked all the way through, but it had that flavoring to it. It was super sugary and sweet. They would do like a 7.5 on it, right? It's a solid little treat. Now the Burger Diggs restaurant is gonna be located right next to the Jurassic Park Discovery Center. Right, we just got it in the city walk. It's been transformed into soccer everywhere. This is gonna be the Premier League Morning Live Orlando Fan Fest. They're setting up the camera and camera angles over here. And they're setting up screens in front of Big Fire right now. Here's an ad for FIFA 2023. They have another giant screen set up in front of Antihitos. And over here, it kind of looks like a giveaway of some sort. An advertisement for Peacock. So they're going to be giving away bags or something. Here's another little photo op, it looks like. They set this stuff up quick today. Oh my gosh. Here's another little photo op wall. Is it like glitter? Oh, wait, let's, let's make a little smiley face. That's kind of a smiley face. Here's some sort of like claw machine that they're setting up. I have many questions, but this is like a big thing. So I feel like I'm gonna have to come back. More signs up. They've just taken over all of City Walk right now. And they're setting up stuff here at the Red Coconut Club. It says back a house crew credential check-in. All right, so I asked what all the soccer stuff is happening here at City Walk. They said Saturday. Okay, so guys, we are back at home. I stopped by the PO box. I got a bunch of different letters and packages. We're just gonna open a couple for this video. I'm kind of talking about what's happening for Hollywood. The game plan is to be there for the opening of Nintendo World in Hollywood and kind of cover all that. Then I really want to go to the Funko Pop store because I've never been there. And um, I think I want to go to the Motion Picture Museum. What is this? <gasps> no! What? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is amazing. Okay, this is so good. Um, as you know, I'm a diehard Little Boo fan, right? Uh, we have a Little Boo keychain. This will be going on my backpack. And here's another Little Boo keychain. And it lights up. Who is, who is, oh my gosh, who is this from? Okay, J and D, thank you so much. Uh, that is awesome. Wow. Is this like 3D printed? How did they make this? This is so good. All right, so J and D, they have an Etsy shop, so if you'd like to get these, I will put their link in the description. That's awesome, man. This is from New Jersey. Did you fart? Nope. I see you're going with a little Crohn's uh, joke there. Ooh, 
thank you so much. Melissa and Trisha, thank you so much for the Chipotle gift card. I eat Chipotle probably like two to three times a week, so this will go to good use. It always blows my mind that you guys send stuff to the P.O. Box, so thank you so much for doing that. I always love these little surprises that are in the mail and the cards and the wonderful kind notes, so thank you guys so much for those. If you guys are watching this, I will be at Magic Kingdom kind of filming the final day of Splash Mountain. We'll be doing a full ride through and kind of a last big hurrah of Splash Mountain. Then we go to St. Louis and we go cover Trans World and the Hollywood Horror Night panels that they have there to kind of show that off. And then we go off to California. We have a fun next couple of weeks planned for y'all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I, I love, love the family. Because I'm going to keep you up to date on all things spooky and scary and universal around the country. Guys, I love you all. And I'll see y'all very soon. Doesn't that cloud look like a UFO? There might be a UFO in there.